for a decade as of May 30th this year. So it can happen. You have to work hard at it, but it, it can happen. Uh, Jefferson is a really unique community that strives to improve their city and shows commitment to one another with this incredible volunteer spirit, which of course you can see in the works right now. Um, they show up for one, one another in that way. Uh, I felt that ever since I went to the inaugural, um, we had the Art on the Square in 2019, Ginny Showman's um, project, uh, which was amazing. And I got to meet some of these folks for the first time there. And I just really fell in love with this community. So I was thrilled when they asked me to um, kind of be the creative legs for this project, the hands, I guess, if you will. Um, and I want to say, when completed, this alley, uh, this alley is going to be the host to large scale sculptures. Uh, all Iowa artists, um, there's an artist group in Amana, Iowa that I love visiting and um, picking out some of the places. There uh, are some of the things for the alley. There, uh, AJ's Copper Garden. So um, definitely stop in there if you're ever in Amana. But where you can stop here and see some of their work here soon. Um, also, Hildy de Bruin is going to be doing a large scale arching uh, structure at the beginning of the alley to uh, kind of remark on some of and point to some of our other arches and Arch Alley and the repeating architecture of Jefferson. Um, also at the front, like uh, Jean said, there is the Choose Your Own Adventure Board. So um, think back to the 80s. <laughs> they used to have these novels, and this is coming back actually, um, where you read a paragraph and you get option A, B, or C, and it's usually fantasy. So you're like, um, you'll see up there, it'll say start here, and you'll have options, and those options were actually written by fifth graders. And they all reference um, the drawings, which were done by Jefferson's third grade classes. So um, we pieced that together and crafted it in my basement and sat in my living room for a while, <laughs> uh, making sure it worked just fine. And it does. I think it looks pretty good uh, and matches the, would, the will be soon to be done mural. Um, the exciting part of this mural and this alley uh, beyond the interactive Choose Your Own Adventure board is of course going to be the augmented reality. So that was something that um, we got really excited about, um, thinking about all the possibilities. Because this is Imagination Alley, um, we're really trying to think about what can we do here that's like, you know, over the top imagination that's going to inspire people. Uh, so we, I taught myself to do augmented reality um, with moving illustrations, so animation, uh, and you'll be able to download a free Overly app. Um, we'll have instructions, so don't worry, you're not, you don't have to take notes now. Um, but uh, you'll scan places in the mural, maybe in some of the sculptures, and they will come to life on your phone or tablet. So that's um, the, hoping to have the animations rolled out uh, about fall, um, by the end of, or the beginning of fall. So. <laughs> And of course, I have to finish the mural first. So, um, anything else I want to say? Uh, just thank you for um, for your support, Homestead Bank and Grow Green County for believing in this project, and of course the Tower View team and Imagination Alley Committee. Thank you guys.